is Fry Mania. Yes, I know that I got off kilter when I didn't get that fabric. I know you guys are tired of hearing about that, but um, it kind of made me readjust. And this project that I chose, that I ultimately chose for my last Friday in May, has rejuvenated my excitement. So I'm going to start off with the Fry Mania update. So you know I had the 4th of July by, by Madame Chantilly and I had um, the Poop Stitch by Happy Little Mouse and I had the Gnomes by Jardine Prive. And um, I ultimately chose the Gnomes. I just needed something happy and more importantly uh, a project that kind of gave me that satisfaction with each stitch. I, I don't know how to explain that. Maybe some of you understand what I'm saying. but um, And so I chose the gnomes. It's going to be a um, like a baby announcement uh, piece. But then I thought, why couldn't it be a whole... Um, like family, a gnome sampler, family tree with names. Because if you remember what it looks like, there's a whole family of gnomes, and there's the baby down here in the carriage. And I can't tell you, it. maybe it's the, the colors of the DMC they chose. Um, but you could actually uh, put underneath um, the name of some family members, you know, like an uh, um, outline stitch, like a little, little tiny stitch. Um, I don't know if I want to mess it up that way, but I'm definitely going to be putting the baby's name and birth date for this baby sampler. I just think it would be uh, so cute, such a cute, cute uh, project. And um, it's done. I used all the uh, called for uh, thread, which was all DMC, and the uh, called for fabric. And that was a 32 count Belfast linen mocha by Zweigart. And I like it. It's um, very easy to see the holes and they're all lined up. So that turned out great. And the colors of the DMC are, I like them. I like them. I think it's going to be such a sweet project. And so we might do a little stitch with me, just maybe five minutes or so um, after I get to that point. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll show you what I got done. And I'll tell you why it's so satisfying. So here it is. I started this morning. And see, I already have the first motif done. And I'm starting on my first gnome. And it's, there's something really satisfying about uh, projects that have specific motifs, kind of. And when you get the motif done, it's like, yes, 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 yes. I'll have some of that. And uh, so I know I'm going to enjoy this. It was just what I needed. And I especially liked this particular chart because on the actual chart, they have the, um, the symbol, you know, register for the colors right on the page that you're working on. So you're not having to look for that separate page for those symbols and floss. It's right there, and it's so easy. I wish they were all like that. Now, I did get a question about my little chart holder. Um, this was just a page. It's called, it's like a little page holder, and I got it at Crafter's Warehouse for $6.99, and it's just called... Um, a page up color, you know. So I just kind of sit it on my armchair and put the chart right there so it's 
readily available for me to look at closer when I need to. The other thing I can't be without is my stitch pillow. And I will put a link to uh, the construction of this. It's on my quilt roadie. Quilt roadie. <laughs> Floss tube, not floss tube, quilt roadie um, YouTube channel. Yeah, one of those days. Brain back in. Um, but I can't work without it because it really takes the stress off of my neck and my shoulders because I rest my arms. I'm an in hand stitcher. And it also takes the weight of the ex extra fabric. And sometimes I'll roll the fabric up with those little bobbin things. And, um, yeah, so I, and I got these little bobbin, not only have I received some as gifts, but I also purchased them at Acorns and Threads. So it's very easy to, to stitch that, uh, with that pillow. I also did a little bit of stitching on my Quarantine Valentine. And, uh, the little light light yellow is maybe a little too light but I, I'm gonna keep going with it and um, it just says my real face misses missing your real face it's so sweet and that's a Lindy stitches pattern I didn't share with you last time that um, I received two pieces of fabric from those um, uh, it's called um, Fortnite Fabrics. They hand dye their fabrics. It's a couple of sweet guys, cross stitchers, married with stitches. And um, I wasn't quite sure how it worked, but you picked uh, on the section of their website that I was on, you picked whether you wanted prim or bright. And then you just didn't know what you were going to get. It was one of those moments that I was having and so I picked one of each because I you know I couldn't decide <laughs> but this one the prim one is called moral moral and it is really pretty and I like the subtleness of the variations um, I'm not real keen on the ones that are like you your different colors on there because I'm not sure how one works around certain floss colors or where you place your design. I'm always, I, I'm not experienced enough for that, I guess. And then I chose a bright one, which was not, is not my norm, so that was more of a stretch for me. But I thought, you know, one has to step outside the box. And so this one is called Amaryllis. I have no idea what I'm going to be using this for, but I am so happy I own it. Is that not gorgeous? They really, they really have um, a knack for dyeing fabric. And this is, um, this is a 32 count even weave. And the other one was also 32 count, my favorite count. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm going to put my pillow back here. Get a little bit of massage going. Get my glasses on. So how are you doing? How's, how's life treating you? Um, it's a interesting weather week we've been having. Every day they tell us it's going to be the hottest day ever. And and then when you look outside, it is beautiful and it is warm, but it almost looks like um, a storm's a brewing. A storm's a brewing. So um, that that is, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm going to put this over here. Um, and then we're going to have a few days of um, possible rain. I'm so ready. I mean, we had so much pollen that you couldn't even see outside the 
um, windshield of the truck. It was like yellow. And oh, everyone seems to be suffering from that. I have been enjoying a couple of Zoom gatherings and um, that's where I know what the weather's like. You know, some people are under um, tornado watch or hurricane watch and they've got allergy issues or the humidity index is really high and um, yeah. So I'm not, I'm not complaining about our weather. My mother used to say, um, don't complain about the weather. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Wise words. Wise words. Yeah. Yeah, one of the Zoom meetings, the gal was asking if, um, if anyone has lost their stitchy bug, you know, with all this going on in our lives. And um, I, I, told, I told them, I said, well, you know, when, that, when I feel that stitchy bug going away, I go shopping. <laughs> I start checking out the online stitch shops because, um, yeah, that usually perks me up <laughs> until I forget what it was that I was shopping for. And then it arrives and I'm like, how did I, what, when, when, what, when, what? <laughs> Yeah, so I watched last night, <laughs> oh, I watched um, a pay-per-view movie uh, and poor G, <laughs> he had to watch it with me. Um, Emma, I have been wanting to see that and I like, um, I'm a Jane Austen fan, you know, and, um, but it's kind of one of, the, that, uh, those genres of like Elizabethan era or um, those time period uh, pieces that are translated into a movie, it's almost like you can't stitch while you're watching. I kept stopping and, and looking because you have to to really hear clearly the language and what their intent of what they're saying, you have to really pay attention. It's, um, it's not an easy... Uh, I wanted to see it when I was at the theater and then we ended up having to leave Arizona and come back home. And then when I went to try to watch it online, they were like it was twenty some dollars, and I thought I'm not I'm not paying that to watch it. So last night it finally reached that place where on pay per view it was four ninety nine. So I was willing to watch it then, and I enjoyed it. I don't think she enjoyed it so much. So <laughs> you know, sometimes you hit it out of the park with the movie choice, and sometimes you don't. And there's all that stuff in the news, you know, about drive-in theaters um, making a comeback, you know. And my kids never saw a drive-in theater. That wasn't something in the places that we lived. That didn't even exist. But um, we grew up with drive-in theaters, and um, there were a couple in our area when I was a kid because I asked because um, G and I grew up in uh, even though we didn't know each other we um, grew up in the same town yeah that's what's truly amazing and um, and I said did you guys when you were teenagers did you guys try to sneak into the drive-in theater in the trunk of cars, and he's like, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, what a stink pot. Um, but I can remember my parents 
wanting to see um, Cleopatra, but it was rated not for kids. And it was at the drive-in theater, and so then they made a bed up in the back, and um, we were supposed to go to sleep. And every so often I couldn't stand it, and I would peek my head up over the front seat to see what was going on, and then I'd feel my dad's hand pushing my head back to <laughs> No fair. That's no fair. Yeah. But now they're, I, uh, I think they're a fabulous way to see a movie. And those people that have drive-in theaters in their area, I think they're so lucky. Um, there isn't one here. Um, I mean, there used to be years ago, but it doesn't exist anymore. Let's see here. Four, three, four, and then another four. And it's in the same spot. Yes. I think it would be hard. It would be hard for me. Here, I'm just rambling. Whatever's going on in there, oh, comes out here. Um, but I think it would be hard for me to stitch right now a real complicated um, stitch where I really had to be focused. And But then for some people, I think being focused on a project would be positive. I just know that that wouldn't work for me. It never worked for me in the quilting world. Whenever I was stressed or worried, I I couldn't work on anything that um, took a lot of brain energy. You know what I mean, brain energy? <laughs> That's why I love wool stitching. Uh, there's a, a cadence to it and a simplicity to it, uh, the primitive wool stitching, that is... Um, comforting. It's comforting. Oh, his little hat is going to be so cute. You know, so it's, it's, this little chart is so fun because you're going to finish different motifs and, um, and then you have that aha moment. Aha. So I have been, um, uh, I had been a little bit lax with my um, YouTube channel watching, you know. Um, I don't know why. Just, I think I zone out in front of HGTV. I have no more emotional investment. Um, I don't do any shopping. <laughs> I'm watching it, but um, but I've been trying to catch up, and um, and I uh, have so enjoyed uh, catching up with everybody, and and it was so nice because um, you know I always I always want to know what my um, uh, girlfriend Becca is doing on Sambray stitches, and and then. Um, she uh, had kind of a lot on her plate, so Aaron, two martini stitches, took over the uh, Thursday group and moved the time. And boy, that was very much appreciated to have something earlier in the day. And, um, and you get a wide variety of stitchers on these different Zoom platforms. And it is um, comforting to touch base with people uh, that you might not otherwise see. Because um, it will probably be a little bit longer before we can all gather into a workshop or, um, you know, it, it'll just be, it'll take time. It'll take time. But um, I always enjoy... Uh, 
two martini stitches because boy she is juggling juggling her um, older children at home and uh, her own stitching life and um, her husband and household you know and still getting so much stitching done yeah oops see I got an exciting moment and I went too far so I can bring it back out there yeah and then um, let's see the other ones that I've watched this week two martini stitches Sambri stitches um, stitching with the sisterlies yeah stitching with the sisterlies because um, you know I get lots of entertainment from them and uh, they are also quilters too which is awesome <laughs> also quilters and uh, so I enjoy I enjoy watching them and um, this week I also watched um, Stitch all the things, yeah. Stitch all the things. I uh, I love it when she's cross stitching. I love it when she's cross stitching because she is such a beautiful cross stitcher, beautiful cross stitcher. But I have to catch up on some of my other favorites because I've just been lax. I've just been lax, <laughs> lazy, lazy, lazy. And that's the thing. I have been lazy about book reading too. And so I downloaded from the library uh, Queen Bee. It's a fiction book. And Untamed, which is a nonfiction book. So I'm going to uh, make an effort to get those two done. Yeah. Let's see, where are we now? Okay, so we had... There, 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 there. <laughs> oh, now we go out one and out one. Okay. Out one and out one. So what are you stitching on? Did you lose your stitchy bug? I had to take a pause in my quilting bug a little bit uh, during this period of time, but... Um, now we're at the end of May. Man. Yes, and then this last week, you know, we had our folk festival canceled. I barely could stand one more thing. I did not want one more. I was going to lay down and kick my feet and throw a tantrum. But, but um, it really was uh, a wise decision given that we really don't know. Even that it, it, it's not till September, but... Our governor's thinking that we might um, not have big events through the end of September. So it was wise because we have people from all over the world that come for that. And there's music tents everywhere around town. I so, so love that though. Yeah. I saw a deer walking across the, the lawn. I, you know, it's very strange to me. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed this where you live, but um, we usually get inundated this time of year with barn swallows. I mean, they make these nasty nests on the side of our houses and up in our eaves, all over the place. And there have not even been half as many this year as last year. And I have yet to see a hummingbird, even though I filled my feeder up, I have yet to see a hummingbird. The deer usually are, you know, I see an occasional two or three deer walking by, you know, every so often, but usually there's a ton of deer. Uh, 
our town, I mean, <laughs> the highway traffic stops when the, the big buck walks across the highway, you know, <laughs> right through the middle of town. But, you know, I haven't noticed uh, the wildlife like I have in the past. It's very strange, and the weather has been different, too. So that's, um, I don't know, that's just some observation that, that G was actually making um, earlier today, that the barn swallows are, we were watching a hawk who was circling above us, and it's amazing, those little tiny, um, like, sparrows, they're fearless. They're like chasing that hawk and pecking at him, trying to get him to leave their nests alone. <laughs> they are fearless mothers. Get that hawk to move on. It's kind of a quiet day today. Sometimes some days feel quiet and then I feel quieter. <laughs> Have you noticed I feel quieter? I sound quieter, huh? How many of you have tried to dye your own fabric? I did buy some writ dye, some liquid writ dye, because I found a, a old piece of white Ada cloth, and it was quite a big piece. I have no clue what it was for. I have no clue what I did with it, or it was a chunk cut out of it, but um, I thought I might give it a try to do some dyeing. So I bought three different colors just to see what would happen. <laughs> and I know um, there are several YouTube channels on it and they use canning jars and I now have empty canning jars. <laughs> Albeit they are small ones, but <laughs> I could do little art pieces. <laughs> Let's hope it's more successful than my rhubarb. <laughs> Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I'm just about done here. Um, as far as I want to go, I have to go to the post office and mail off a birthday gift. And, uh, and then get outside. Enjoy the rest of the day. And I hope that you are too. Thank you, thank you for coming by. And just by knowing that you're out there, it makes me feel better. So I hope I make you feel better. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I love you guys. Take care.